Well, after all my years of living in Pennsylvania and what was basically Redneck County, I finally made it to my first rodeo. I just had to go all the way to Alaska to get to it. Um, but there's this rodeo maybe five minutes away from campus in Soldotna, and I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> oh, are you videoing? I'm videoing, yeah. I'm so excited! Yay. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Yeah, first rodeo. Come on, get it! Come on, Miranda! So we've been at the rodeo for maybe an hour now and I'd say it's mildly entertaining. I'm definitely a new person to the rodeo scene, a fresh rodeo goer. And I think right now you could say they're having the cowboys wrangling, frangling some mini cows or calves or whatever uh, the right terminology is. I don't know if they're babies or just really tiny cows. Um, but it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. It only cost me $5 and a can of ravioli to get in because I donated a can to get a half price ticket. I'm looking forward to the bull riding, but I'm guessing that's not until the very end of the show. So in the meantime, I'll just have to watch some more cowboys catching their mini cows. Did I miss anything life changing? Yeah. Oh. So I came back to sit in the van mostly to take a mental break from the rodeo and partly just to get out of the cold. But I looked at the event program and I realized that we are maybe halfway through the rodeo. We just had the Guardians Challenge and there's still a lot more to come until the bull riding, which is really all that I'm waiting for now. Maybe another hour, I don't know. But I think I've had all the rodeo I can handle for a while. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take a bit of a break and sit here in this van. Out of it, I probably only sell one. If it's in my brother, cause we have the same nose, same clothes, homegrown, a stone throw from a creek we used to roam. I've been in the van about 40 minutes, and I think I'm about ready to give the rodeo another go. So apparently we're at the breakaway roping, meaning one event away from the bull riding. Mm -hmm. Can't wait, man. <laughs> Oh, 
Have you been on the horse before? No, first time? Wow. It's exciting. <laughs> You made a lot of dreams come true tonight. Right. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Bye, Stan. You're awesome. <laughs> for letting Thank me go on you. the horse. You're welcome. You're welcome. My heart is like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My watch. Thank you. I love you. She did it. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I think you call those a horsey. You gotta take a horsey. <laughs> so did you all have a good time at the rodeo? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was the best part? On the horse. <laughs> Petting the horse at the end? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you paid money and sat in a rodeo for two and a half hours, and the best part was the free horse you got to pet at the very yeah. end. It sounds fair. No, that might have been my favorite part too, putting I've the horse. It was pretty good. Pounding, <laughs> I've always wanted to see like bull riding. Yeah, I never I saw it before. It. That I was pretty wanted, cool. I always wanted to go to a rodeo. My dream came true. Wow. It's like Disneyland, but in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Where all your bull riding dreams come true. Yep. So overall, my first rodeo was kind of interesting. I really do think the best part was petting the horse at the end, if that says anything. Um, although the bull riding was pretty cool, and those girls riding the horses upside down was incredible. I think that was the most talent I've seen at a rodeo. My one rodeo that I've been to, I mean. And I wanted to end this video with this amazing view that is behind me. If you can see it, let me zoom in a bit. That is the sun setting over a nearby volcano which name I can't remember, but it's an active volcano and it's pretty stinking beautiful right now.